if I ever meant anything to you, please let me fall asleep before she thinks of sex. Al. You are a woman, aren't you? Oh, Peg, we just did it last month. <laughs> a man can't just roll over and do it again. We have to rest in between. Al, you can't wear that cool V-neck T-shirt and those stained pajama bottoms. <laughs> Expect me not to want you. <laughs> ah, they do show off the merchandise, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> Let's prepare ourselves. Thanks again, honey. <laughs> How are you feeling, Peg? I'm surprised you could make it down those stairs this morning. I know. I was pretty tired. I hope that buzzing didn't keep you awake last night. <laughs> Those damn bees. <laughs> you know, and one must have stung you too, because I heard you scream. You want to do it again tonight? Oh, Peg, I think if we do it again too soon, it'll cheapen the experience. <laughs> Bask in the afterglow, baby. <laughs> now, Peg, you're not glowing. You don't have that I've been satisfied by Al Bundy look on your face. <laughs> Gee, maybe you should go to your girly doctor. You know, they say you should get checked out every 50 years or so. <laughs> you know, put you up on the old rack, check your belts and hoses. Honey, there is nothing wrong with my belts and hoses. I just need to be taken out and driven once in a while. <laughs> well, that can't be a shot at me. I'm Al, the mailman Bundy, I deliver. Yes, Al, but mailmen are slow, and they deliver every day. <laughs> yeah, but they don't always have to go to the same house. <laughs> but seriously, Peg, you weren't satisfied? Well, let's put it this way. I used to call you the Minute Man. Now I long for those days. <laughs> But you know, Marcy was very comforting. She said, with you, the sooner it's over, the better. <laughs> you told her? Al, you, uh, you want to throw around the football? <laughs> there, we done? <laughs> I think she might have told him. Al, really, you shouldn't feel badly. The reason you're so inept in the bedroom is because you've chosen to put all of your energy into your magnificent shoe career. Uh, it's time someone spoke for Al. <laughs> I guess I was wrong. <laughs> oh, Al's down. I guess my work is done. <laughs> well, let's leave these two lovebirds alone. They may want to have sex for a second. <laughs> They're done! <laughs> oh, relax, Al. I'm sure she didn't tell anyone else. Hey, Bundy, do me a favor. Have sex with your wife 50 times. We're cooking an egg. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Donnelly, why don't you use the time it takes your son to get out of his dress? <laughs> Hiya, boy, how you doing? Well, let's just say you won't hear my bitch complaining to her friends. 